Here, let us see what is a linear equation. Any equation of the form, say ax plus by plus c equal to 0, where a comma b comma c are real numbers and at the same time a shouldn't be equal to 0 b shouldn't be equal to 0 and when x comma y are variables now when all these conditions are taken care of then any equation of the form ax plus by plus c equal to 0 qualifies as a linear equation so let us quickly consider some examples of linear equations x plus 2y minus 3 equal to 0 this is one of those here we can clearly see that x and y are variables a although it is not to be seen it is 1 and it is not equal to 0 and so a is 1 we've got b as 2 and then we've got c as minus 3 so 1 2 and minus 3 are all real numbers a and b are not equal to 0 x and y are variables and therefore x plus 2y minus 3 equal to 0 is linear equation and we also can write this slightly different form so we can write it as ax plus by equal to c this also qualifies to be a linear equation it's just that we have shifted c to the right hand side that is all is the difference so if we have to write this as the differently we can write x plus 2y equals to 3 and this still is a linear equation so let us quickly consider another example 7x minus 5 equals 2y now this is not a linear equation straight away i mean it is but then we can write this as 7x minus 2y minus 5 equal to 0 or 7x minus 2y equals 5 so of course 7x minus 5 equal to 2y is a very much a linear equation but then it has to be written either in this form or in this form the only objective behind that is nothing but getting all the variables to one side of the equal to sign and the constant can be to the other side of the equal to or it can be also on the same side and let us see another example say root 2x minus root 3y minus 9 equal to 0. Yes, this is a linear equation because root 2, root 3 and 9 are real numbers. x and y are variables. And of course, since a and b have got values, they are not equal to 0. So therefore, this also is a linear equation. 